the Woo Fest. Woo! Before you even start this video, make sure you just drop a like and subscribe. Just subscribe, man. I mean, I mean, it ain't that big of a deal. Just click the button, man. Just, hey, just do it. Just do it, bro. The alignment looks good to me. It looks great, actually. Sick back glass, brother. And put that blinker on, and then we're gonna bust right here. We're gonna go to our favorite store, Krispy Kreme. It is your boy, it's Ham. Just kidding, we're going to Harbor Freight. What is he doing? He's going crazy. We're gonna park in the shopping cart center because we have a small car. I'm just kidding. All right, I have found it. Found that. And then now I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna grab some wire wheel. Or something really coarse to knock down the frame. Oh yeah, boom. Hey, just round the corner. <laughs> wow, Yolanda the Honda, you're looking freaking juicy, girl. Thank you. Before you even begin to even think about watching today's video, make sure you drop a subscribe. We're on the way to 4,000 subscribers. I know that's not a lot, but like I said, we're on the way to 4,000 subscribers. You gotta start somewhere, boys and girls. We're gonna get to a million freaking subscribers we have to start somewhere we can't just do it overnight secured the bag literally who ate my tent strip bro and who puked on my pillar and who is trying to steal my airbag freaking weirdos dude. and who ate my tent back then y'all anyways let's go to the gym <laughs> workout and uh guys if you are watching this video and you're a sponsor of the channel and you're waiting for a part to be installed this is literally why i mean i only have i think two things that i'm waiting to install but this is literally why i can't get it done in a timely manner because whoop, whoop, because it's literally been raining non-freaking stop boys and girls but we just finished our workout and we grabbed ourselves a body armor light these things are sweet bro like 15 calories um, hardly any sugar. I don't think there is any sugar. Nah, it's like very little, but um, Freaking awesome, but we're on the way home now We are actually about to stop at Andrew's house and grab the polishing stuff because we're gonna be polishing and sanding the wheels Or vice versa sanding and polishing the wheels um, to get ready for the show good secured All right, on today's episode of how to mess up your wheels, we're about to get this thing nice and wiped off real quick, and then we're gonna hit it with some 600 grit sandpaper. Now, backs are in pretty bad condition. A lot of stains, but uh, yeah, we're gonna be tackling the front ones first. <laughs> that is cut one looking way better all right yeah just gotta uh, wipe it down real quick and then we're gonna start cut two sexy oh, how do i look like crap sweet bro i'm so dirty but um all right so the problem we're running into now is i'm probably gonna have to buy some more rouges for uh andrew because um this one right here the red one yeah, red, colorblind. Um, this one's working perfect, right? Okay, so this one's working perfect. Um, these other ones, I don't know if you can see. These other ones, um, see how cracked they are, kind of, right? 
Um, I even tried scraping them to get them a little better, but these are cracked. And what's happening is when you're polishing this little polish line, this is when it, you tell yourself to stop, right? This is when it starts getting a little lighter. That just stays there the whole time you're polishing when I change to the blue pad or purple pad or the um, white pad, the finisher pad. Now this red one goes with the yellow and this is the initial cut and this one's working great. Like it took out a lot of the imperfections already as you can see from the back wheel just to this wheel. So I'm probably gonna have to go to the store and um, find somewhere that sells these rouges. The Woo Fest. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just got our second cut in. We're about to color it with the white pad. And we stopped at Harbor Freight um, and grabbed some polish. Uh, pretty cheap, about $5 for this little like quarter, quarter pound stick. Uh, we got brown for the second cut. And then we got white for the last one. So we're going to try this out on this uh, white pad and see if it you know makes it come out pretty good i mean i think this looks extremely extremely good compared to what we were doing so we're gonna put this on uh slap the white pad on and then uh her buffing wheel and we're gonna try it there you have it boys and girls harbor freight polish for the win um looks a lot better so after before after a little side by side nasty water spots shine look at that look at that i mean this one looks good on camera but trust me the proof is in the water spots so i'm gonna uh, about a wire wheel the a little bit of this frame um paint it and try and tackle out the rest of these wish me luck all right as you can see this is the single stage this is just the uh initial cut with the yellow wheel and the green or excuse me red rouge and it's getting rid of all that water water stainage and uh yeah turned out pretty good gorsh mickey now we're gonna pop a little bit of that profile on it a bit <sighs> no i'm see they just wheels right all right gotta do these the fronts turned out banging turned out banging i got a few things to do. I gotta cut some pieces of vinyl and uh, uh I gotta cut some pieces of vinyl and lay it uh, back out. But other than that, uh, other besides polishing the wheels, cutting the vinyl, I have to take this tie rod off right here. See how out of whack my alignment got real quick. Look at that. And that. <laughs> so I gotta take that tie rod off, uh, pop it out and extend it and then do a little redneck driveway alignment. Jeez. Ah. Hello. Welcome back. Jeez. Ah. Well, folks, that about does it. Oh, literally just polish the wheels with not the help of you, Baloo, but with the help of Harbor Frickin' Freight, boys and girls. What are you going to say about it? Dude, I can't complain. First time polishing some wheels. I still got to put the Pro 40 on that one, but, um... Yeah, looks amazing. Lovely. The little wappy swappy. Ooh, that be shine. <clears throat> well, ladies and gentlemen, here she is all polished up with some Harbor Freight stuff. I mean, turned out pretty decent. Um, 
I sprayed the bottoms of the uh, frame black as well. Um, that way, right there where the bumper mounts up, not so ugly anymore. But yeah, I don't think it turned out too bad. You know what I'm saying? I mean, all we had was one Zephyr uh, Rouge. Everything else was Harbor Freight, really. And you had the Zephyr pads, obviously. But looking slick. That stuff's coming off tomorrow. I'm actually about to take the tailgate stuff off right now and um, do the tie rod right now. And uh, we'll be getting ready for this show. So, like I said, if you are in the Augusta area September 25th, this Saturday, um, make sure you come check out the truck and uh, put it on truck rides for me or something. You know, roast it. Take a picture. Put it on your story. Just roast it. I mean, haha, -ha, rusted tailgate handle. Haha, -ha, fucked up wrap everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, just come roast it. Um, I will be having grass back here. I'm putting uh, some new sod back here instead of bed liner. So it's going to be looking real, real nice. Um, the stack is about as straight as me. But, yeah, so come check it out. See you later.